Hello everyone, welcome back to Code uh, So we already completed our fast database sub languages. That is a DDL. Uh, we completed five different commands of DDL. Now we will move towards uh, another sub language of uh, MySQL, or you can say SQL. That is a DML, or you can say data manipulation language. The name itself says that manipulation. So majorly we will. Uh, Use uh, this uh, DML command or uh, DML languages uh, for manipulation purposes. Okay, so um, we will discuss a few commands of DML, and we will this uh, we will like uh, skip a few other commands that we'll discuss in future because now we are not eligible to learn those commands like a uh, merge. Uh, okay, something like a uh, lock tables and all those things. Uh, but definitely I will discuss in a future. So three command we will discuss inside DML as of now, insert, update, and delete very clearly. In this video, we will discuss insert command. Next video, we will discuss a remaining, right? That's clear cut information, okay? So observe the first theoretical point of a DML. So DML stands for data manipulation language. DML is a sub language or you can say subset of SQL. It's completely fine and agree. DML is basically used to add, modify, and delete data inside a database. Uh, see, if you want to add data, we require what? Insert command. And insert is coming under manipulation languages, that is a DML. And if he wants to change the value by mistakely, I mentioned my by mistakely, I added my wrong data bar, or uh, by mistakely, I added my wrong name. So what I will do, I will modify it. So we should go for update command. And we have a concept called as delete command based on my interest. I want to remove. We should go for delete command. You may ask, sir, what is the differences between drop, delete, truncate, everything we will discuss. You don't worry for that, right? Fine. So, R means insert, modify means update, delete means uh, delete, uh, you know, basically, right? Observe. Uh, what are the list of commands are coming inside a DML? Uh, insert, update, delete, merge, call, uh, then something like explain, uh, explain plan, then something like a uh, lock table and all these commands coming under GML. See, many, uh, like you will get uh, in many book or many websites or many faculty will tell like uh, select is also coming under GML. It's okay if you are um, store, if you are adding select inside DML, it's okay. But what we will do, we will learn select in our data retrieval language. It's the main purpose of select command is to get the data from database, right? That means it is basically used for retrieval purposes. So for that reason, we added uh, something like a select command inside a DRL or data retrieval languages. Sir. So as it's okay, no problem. You can learn um, like a select command inside VML, no problem. But uh, what we will learn as of now, insert, update, delete, these three commands we will learn. And in future, definitely we will learn call, merge, explain plan, plan and lock tables. Okay, it's clear cut information. Fine. So in this video, insert command. We'll focus more on insert command. And insert is basically used to insert the data into data table, right? So we know how to create a table, right? How to create a database, we know. And how to create a table, we know. Only you created the table means only you created the heading part. But uh, there is no data. Is there any meaning of that table? No, sir. There is no meaning. If you are not adding data, that means there is no meaning of creating a table. So, if you created a table, means your responsibility is to add the data, right? So, how to add the data? What are the different different approaches are there? Huh? Everything we will discuss so that you will get 100% clarity. Okay, fine, right, sir. So, insert command. Insert is a command which is basically used to add data into table, uh, something like. Next, we can use insert, uh, <coughs> insert data using various approaches. We can insert data okay into the table by using various approaches. We can insert data using various approaches. You can you can write we can insert data uh, into the table by using various approaches. Okay. So if you'll object very carefully, we can write we can insert data object very carefully. We can insert the data into table 
using various approaches uh, means we'll see a lot of approaches uh, to insert the data fine approach number one it's very simple that suppose i created one table that is a student table which table student table i created one table that is something like a student table and student table contain what student id student name and student course student id student name and student course is there any data associated with this table no now i want to add data so where i'll add i will add here next i want to add one more data something like okay so you can add the data here right so what is the approach number one approach number one is a object very very carefully insert into table name then call one call two means column one column two column three values value one value two value three so this is the syntax so what we will write we will write insert into what is the table name table name is a student right student and what is the column one first column is a id what is the second column second column is a name what is the third column third column is a course right next we have to write what the values so what is the value what is the first first one id id is a one what is the second name name is a suppose surendra what is the next one course course is a m tech suppose that's a semicolon if you will execute this command what will happen means uh, this data will store inside uh, here the data will ins insert here so id is one name is uh, surendra and uh, uh, something like course is uh, mtech uh, it's clear cut information and similarly it will insert one more data it will insert here like this like this like this this is approach number one okay we have a approach number two is also there what is the approach number two approach two approach two is what we will not mention this column name directly we will insert the value so what is the approach number two we will write insert into student then we will write values and to rahul msc that's it so what will happen to will store here rahul will store here and msc will store here okay so what is the drawback of this approach is uh, you have to give the value based on this table column name means the first value your first value should be id second value should be name third value should be or third value must be msc must be all three follow this order right but here what you can change do changes basically so here you can write uh, name and here you can write uh, id here you can write a uh, course and based on name id and course uh, you can provide the first one surendra second one id and third one course you can provide like this no problem at all it will work right so now we'll move towards practical so that you will get clarity yeah fine so insert command first what i'll do i'll create a table right so create i'll check i have a student table is actually previously let me describe that student table d e s c s t u d e n t student let me check what thing is there yeah id name and course is there it's very okay already table is created so no need to create the table again and again right sir now what i'll do i will add the data right fine so insert data approach number one approach one insert data approach one what is the approach number one insert into uh, table name so table name is what i can say student 
insert into student s t u d e n t yeah student next i'll write what values okay values student first column name then values yeah so what is the column name first one is your id what is the second one second one is your name what is the third one third one is your course so what is the value i will give one comma one comma surendra comma oh sorry so here we have to write like this and comma let me remove this extra comma here and what is the course i will write mtech that's it and i have to close it is it clear fine let me run it yeah inserted successfully how you will know that it is inserted successfully we have to retrieve the data from the database so by using select command we will discuss select command in future select a star from table name that is your student now if i this if i execute this particular command then it is giving me id is one then surendra then m check i hope you guys are getting the clarity about this particular one right so this is how you can insert sir i want to insert one more so for one more you have to copy and you have to paste and you have to write it here too and instead of surendra you can write some other name based on your interest i can write something like priyanka oh sorry and here i can write anything you can write no problem at all i will write something like msc no problem so let me execute this particular one whenever i'm executing this particular one this data also added inside my table now if i execute this particular one you will get uh, two records basically in the form in uh, your like a uh, student table basically i hope you guys are, guys are getting the clarity about the uh this particular one right fine now what i'll do this is approach number one. In approach number one, what you have to follow? You have to follow this order. So I will insert one more data. Just observe very carefully. Here I will do some twist kind of things. Uh, first, I will insert name. Second, I will insert course. Third, I will insert ID. So just have a look once. First, I will insert name. So what is the name? Uh, I will insert the name called as Rahul. And uh, something like, uh, just observe. Uh, second one is a course. I will write the course called as MCA, correct? And what is the third one? ID, ID, I'll write three. Now tell me how this data will insert. Properly it will insert or not. Just observe. See, properly it inserted. So here, this value, how you will insert, it's completely depend upon these column order. I think you are getting the clarity about this one. This order is important. This column name is important. Based on this column name, you should insert these values. I hope you guys are getting the clarity. Okay. Is it clear? I hope approach number one is very, very clear. Can I move towards approach number two? Definitely. Yes, I'll move towards approach number two. So what we will do inside approach number two, we will not see. Uh, Generally, what I'll do, suppose I want to insert my first data as ID, second is a name, and third is a course. I will not change the order. I will insert in a proper manner. First ID, second name, and third is a course. First ID, second name, third is a course. Then I am not interested to write these things. Okay. So directly, you can skip this one. Directly, you can insert. Okay. Just observe. What is the second approach is a... Uh, the approach second approach is saying that you can insert like this insert into table name and don't write the column name don't write the column name but you should give the first value is id second is name third is a course you cannot give like this type of value you cannot change no so first one i will give like a four and the name i'll give that is called as zini and here i will write some course like MBA, anything. Now let me execute this particular one. Yes, now let me select whether it is correctly executed. Yeah, correctly inserted. It inserted correctly or not? Of course, it inserted correctly without having any kind of issues. Hope you guys are getting the clarity about this approach number two. But the problem with approach number two is what? Uh, if I will insert like this, insert into student value, Ah, uh, first I want to insert uh, 
like uh, first i want to insert called as a jack first i want to insert called as name that is a jack that is a jack huh? and second i want to insert course uh, that is a uh, suppose m.com and third i want to insert id that is a 5 if i'll execute this one what will happen hmm. ah many people will say sir jack will insert at inside name i will inside inside uh, id and jack uh, mcom will inside in your course huh? if you are thinking like that you are a simple nonsense right no <laughs> not like that so here you must provide the value based on your table column order. You cannot change it. If you want to change, you should have follow this approach. So here you will get an error. See, we are getting error. Why? What error you are getting? Observe. Error, error code that is a 1366, I think. Yeah. So incorrect integer value jack for column ID row 1. That means what it's saying? It's saying that uh it expect first one should be integer but you are giving what a jack that is a where can no why because your table by default first what you have to give you have to give integer but what you are given you are given jack so that's you will get error yeah. okay so let me comment this one this is not required this order is very very dangerous don't follow this one Okay, fine. Now we will move towards approach number three. Okay, come back to theory. Yeah, fine. Approach number two complete. Approach number two. So, what is approach number three? Is what is the problem with the previous approaches? If you want to insert multiple data, you should write like insert into 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 multiple time. But how to insert multiple record at a time by using single insert command? We will not write like a 10, 20 line of insert command. We will write one insert command and based on our interest, we should insert multiple record. So for that reason, what you have to write? Yeah. So, one minute. Yeah. Fine, observe. Insert multiple record at a time. How to insert multiple record at a time means uh, very simple. Insert into table name, then column 1, column 2, column 3, values, value 1, value 2, value 3. Like this, you can insert. Is it a very difficult task? Means a definitely not a difficult task. Okay. Just observe. Approach 3. What is the approach 3 is actually? Sorry. Approach 3 in search. Multiple record at a time. Correct, fine. So what I'll do, insert into table name, that is a STUD. Now, nah, student, S-T-U-D-E-N-T, student, I think. Yeah. S-T-U-D-E-N-T, yeah. Insert into student. And what is the column name? First one is your ID. Second one is your name. Third one is your course. Why it is giving me error, I don't know. Okay, anyway, so next you have to write a values. And here, let me write my first value. What is the first value? Record number 5. And what is the record number 5? I mean the ID 5. Jack. Comma. M comma.
Next, what I'll do, I'll copy it and I'll paste it. Six, Scott. What is the name? Scott. Okay. And the course I can write M A. Similarly, seven. That is a Smruti. M S C. And lastly, I will give this semicolon instead of comma. Let me execute. Yes. Let me use select a statement to check. Yeah. Completely inserted. Any doubt to with this one? Sir, no doubt at all. It's very clear cut information. Okay. That's fine. This is completed. Uh, next one also you can follow this approach is like uh, Sir, here we will not give this uh, uh, column name. We'll skip and we will check whether it will insert or not. Let me change the value. That is a uh, 8 Anjali and that is BBA. Or B take care. Two value we will insert. Two means multiple, no problem. Then nine. That is Surya and MCA. Let me run. Yeah, so select the select a star from student. Execute it. Yeah, Surya, MCA, Anjali, inserted. Okay, so this is also good. Another approach is here that is by using row constructor, by using a row constructor, that is what. Insert into table name column this one values. Before inserting any value, you have to write row, 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 row. Okay. So this is another approach. So approach number observe. Approach number in the approach number five, you have to write here row. Here also you have to write row. It indicates row. That's it. And so I will insert just a two value at a time. It's more than sufficient for me. What is the last one? Nine. And I will insert 10. Here I will insert 11. Okay. So I think... Yeah, so the next one. Next one, I will insert something like Raj and Pussy. So Raj is having M Tech, Pussy is having VA. Let me insert. Yeah, working perfectly. So if you'll select it. You will get okay. Another is what same approach. You can ignore this one. I'm sure it will work. Let me try. Oh, sorry. Change the value. 12, 13. Sanju Sriman. Sriman. Simran. Simran is having MCA. Sanju is having BTA. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's working. Yeah, Simran inserted. Okay, so it's very clear. I hope you guys are getting the clarity about all the approaches and uh, how to insert the data by using different approaches, multiple approaches be completed, right? I know previously, maybe you know, like one or two approaches, just uh, one first approaches. If you're comfortable, you can go for first approach, but try to remember all these things. Uh, this type of approaches is also there. Okay, we can insert uh, by using this type of approaches. That's it. Okay. So that's it. And thank you so much for watching this particular video. Practice it. We will meet in the next video for continuation part. Thank you so much.